there are times that you can have plenty of time to be able to do long drawn out watercolor paintings and you could do things with pen and ink and watercolors or you can do crayon resist with watercolors but then there are times that you need to do something quick and easy maybe because you only have five minutes before you have to get onto class or maybe you're driving somewhere in your car and you see something cool on the side of the road and you want to hop out and draw a quick sketch of it and most people have cell phones nowadays so you might say well why wouldn't I just take a picture of it but sometimes there's something particular about the scene that works better to capture it with a drawing than to try to take a picture of it. And also it's just good for artists to practice their sketching skills because sketching is a base component of so many other things that are done. So it's good to practice sketching and there are many times that the sketch themselves can end up be the beautiful piece of artwork that it's not necessarily just a way of catching a scene so that you can go paint it later but you actually enjoy the sketch and I'm sure you've seen lots of famous sketches in museums where the sketch that the artist made is a work of art in itself it didn't need to just be a study for some future project so we are going to do a sketch and you can sketch on pretty much any paper you want you can sketch on notepads pieces of printer paper and I'm going to dig out a sketch pad just to show you. Alright, so I have a drawing pad. came from Michael's. And drawing pads are nice because the pencil moves over them smoothly and it has a texture to it and all of that. But don't feel like you have to have a drawing pad. You can just sketch on whatever you want to sketch. Alright, so we have drawing pad. And what you want to sketch with, you can sketch with a pen or a pencil or anything else. And I'm going to sketch with one of my pencils. And now I'm trying to figure out if this is the pencil that works or the pencil that doesn't work. I suppose we will find out. I think this one here is the one that works. We'll find out when I want to start sketching. So for sketching we don't need water. We'll get the water out of the way. Don't need tape. Don't need brushes. All you need is this sketching thing and the pen. Alright, so the idea with sketching is that it's helping to build up your skill with perspective and lines and darkness and shading and all those other kinds of things. So I am uh, working around a tripod here. <laughs> so this sketch will not necessarily be the best sketch in the world, but that's okay. I'm just trying to show you the general technique. So when you're looking at a scene and you're thinking about sketching it, in general, you're not trying to think about drawing every single last detail. You're just trying to get a general gist of it. And if you look at some of our workshops that we have on urban sketching, they want you to get the whole thing done in just like five or 10 minutes. So it's not about getting every single last detail that you see. It's about giving an impression, an idea, the things that made it interesting to you. So, let's see. We will start with the basic shape. You want to think about shapes. And we'll start with the coal car over here. So the basic shape of the coal car is a rectangle. So you just draw rough lines. Again, you are not thinking about making a completely connected finished piece. Just thinking about the things the shapes that are interesting to you. It's got coal at the top. It's got this little line in here. It's got this snowflakey thing. And then it's got wheels. And it's okay that the wheels are covering it and that we then draw the wheels over it and you can still see the lines behind because again a sketch is just a rough idea of shapes. Alright, so that took me what? 30 seconds, a minute or something like that? Wait, see that there's a little bump back there. Wait, see that there's a little bump. But again, the idea is not to be super detailed in this. And it's not necessarily to be super precise. You know, the wheels are not the exact same shape. The coal's not the exact same shape. 
but you get a general gist of it. And if it was the snowflake that really caught my eye in the box in the snowflake, now I can see those details and remember that. So we got this little joining thing. Alright, so you want to think about shapes. So when I was doing this, I was thinking rectangle, rectangle, circle, circle. Break it something down into shapes that you can tackle, and that makes it easier for your mind to work on things. So this engine part might seem really complicated. And here, let me pull this down a little so that you can see it better as I try to work on it, and I'll pull that down. Alright, let me see if that's better to see. Yep. All right, so when we look at this engine, think about what shapes you see. All right, so there's the circles for the wheels, and then you've got some rectangle shapes in here, and that'll help you get started with the basic shape. So there's a tall rectangle here. So let's start with the tall rectangle. So we start here, and go up taller than the coal area, about like that, and about down to there. And we got a little roof area. And I made it a little too thin. So we'll just make that a little thinner for the cab. For the panes. So again, the idea is not to be super precise when you're sketching. You're giving a gist of the shape. And it could be that you're leaving out some details that you don't like, like if there was, I don't know, let's say there was a big orange safety flag on something on there that you didn't like, you could just leave it off because your sketch is your version of the scene with what you want to think is important about it. All right, so we got that. We got this stripe going across. Trying to see around. <laughs> The tripod cables here, that just makes it a little more exciting, and that's it. Right. Alright, so the wheels are big, I want to end about there. So again, this is a not necessarily fairly precise, and that is okay. The wheels are not quite the same size. This thing ended up being a little off. We'll just fix that up. Your idea is to get a gist of the shape. Keep going forward. I'll add the two other wheels in here. get some placement ideas. The smokestack comes up between those two wheels and rises up a little higher than the roof. So think of things relative to other things on your drawing paper. So if the smokestack is higher than the roof, that gives you a sense of where the smokestack should go. If the smokestack is between the tires, that gives you a sense of where the smokestack should go in the left to right direction, and then that gives us a sense of where these bands go that are coming down. All right, and then right after that is this little front piece. And then the curve. Alright, so let's see. So if we then put in the two bands that go that way, we know that that ends about there. And we go into the cow catcher. The cow catcher comes down just above the tires, the wheels. And this has the vents in it. Please come down to meet that. This has a slight bulge to it. 
This has a nose to it. We've got a bell comes up right behind the second band here. And we've got a whistle coming up in front of this band. But again, when you are drawing your version, your version can be any way that you want it to be. It doesn't have to match what the official version was. You don't have to draw in the exact number of dots. You're just giving a general sense of it. So this then has a line that goes that way. And this has a line that comes down that way. And again, we're just being very rough here, so things don't stay inside the lines, and that's okay. We just want to be quick and casual and give a sense of how things are laid out. Because in general, when you're doing this sort of thing, you might only have a few minutes to be able to quickly get an idea of something before you have to go on somewhere else. Alright, so what did that take? Five minutes, seven minutes or something? And I suppose we want to show that that goes across there. But again, these kinds of details are ones that don't really matter. Because they're drawn. So, you know, they are by their nature impar imperfect. The lines are imperfect. I started getting a little more detailed in here, and I really <laughs> shouldn't have. That's just in my nature to do, but you want to be rough and loose. So more like this stuff over here. Rough and loose, quick sweeps of the line, gives you a sense of energy and the motion of things. And then some people do go in afterwards and paint this in with watercolor if they want to. And you can even do that. Some people on urban sketching trips will take a little watercolor pan kit that has just four or five colors in it. And they would sit, quickly sit there and toss in some blue for that area and some yellow for that area. And that way they know at a glance what the colors were and what caught their eye. So again, one could say that you could just take a picture of it and be done. But there's uh, something more artistic involved in doing a quick sketch of it to get a sense of the shapes and the colors. And just to have even a brief little artwork. You know, you could do the sketch, you could do a watercolor on it, and then that would be a lovely artwork to give to someone. And it's a completely different style than drawing out pen and ink more carefully and coloring it in with watercolor more carefully. And that's fine. Some people like the quick sketchy style. Some people like the more deliberate style in which everyone appeals to you is the one that you should play with. So let me know if you have any questions about doing a quick pen and ink sketch to celebrate the things that you're interested in.